It's an XML job feed uh, for Indeed, so for their ATS integration. So uh, Indeed, they have this specific XML format. Uh, and you sort of say who's publishing it. And then there's uh, lists of jobs with these fields. So in what you do in with the plugin is you have in your bubble database something that looks like jobs with these fields in them. So you basically store in your database, in your bubble database, these fields, and you want to basically convert them into uh, an XML document. So here is that. Here is a uh, database in this in this bubble app. One little trick is if I go, if I'm holding down the control key, I can copy it. So I could cop. An easy way to grab this schema is just to copy this job and copy this uh, data type, and you can paste it in. And I've just numbered them one to twenty-four because that just makes it easier. So I can understand the mapping, so that. So in the end, out pops this XML document with the multiple jobs in it. And uh, in the workflow, what the what the what the uh, plugin provides is so this is the publisher publisher URL. I'll just change that actually. It's not quite right. And then this is the search for the jobs. So I could. I could produce multiple XML feeds for one job. So I, in here, I could say search for jobs that were, um, you know, of a certain category. So I could produce multiple XML documents outputs for different job types, and then for the fields that are on the job, I choose the title, um, and because I named numbered my database one to oh, postal code is missing, twelve postal code and street address. So I can map the fields that are on my job table in here, and I just numbered them to make my life easier. Uh, I can map them to each of the fields that go into the XML document. And for the, for the uh, fields that are optional, um, you can leave them empty. But for the ones that aren't optional, I think, for example, company is not optional. So if I, then it'll show up red. And basically there's some quick links to the documentation to explain what those fields mean but you can also know, understand what those fields mean by reading the uh, documentation here. So once you've produced those XML documents there's depending on the ways that you need to feed the XML files to the to, in, to, the, to, the, to, it, to Indeed there's multiple ways to do it um, but you basically, once you produce a document, then you will either FTP it or. But that's dependent on which of the methods that you use to send your XML feeds to a to Indeed.